Hey, what's up? It's your boy Lucas here. Welcome back to another video. You know what's funny about YouTube is that you can post a video today, right now, and then it won't do anything or it could not do anything. Like the views will be like very, very, very low. And then months after you post it or years even, it will blow up. That's very, very crazy about YouTube. I had, I had this happen to me. I wouldn't say blow up, but I posted a video about the 550D at the end of 2019 and it got maybe 200, maybe 300 views tops. And then at the end of last year, I started like getting notifications that people are like commenting on that video. So I was like, okay, let me go check what's happening, you know, and replying to comments and everything. And I saw that the video reached a thousand views and was, you know, growing, still growing. So I was like, when did this happen? So now at this moment, it has 2.5K views, if I'm not mistaken, which uh, 1.5 or more came like at the end of 2020 and, you know, at the beginning of 2021. And that's crazy. Because of that video, I thought maybe I should revisit the Canon EOS 550D camera you know to see what it does show you guys what it can do you know do some photography with it so people who are searching right now for the EOS 550D can see what this camera can do I have it right here and I thought I'd do a product photography with it so I bought Grosch beer I don't usually drink beer if I do I drink 0.0% alcohol beer but this bottle it's pretty nice and I thought maybe I can do something nice with it. And I thought I searched on Google for photos that somebody else did uh, for Grosch to see if I can mimic that with the 550D. So I pulled up this photo. The depth of field is very shallow. On the left, I see a something greenish. So I think it's another, an, another beer bottle on the left. And on the right, you can see a glass filled with beer. For this shot, I could use my 50 millimeter 1.8 because of the shallow, shallow depth of field. I can see from the, the, the lighting, it's coming from the left. It looks like sunlight from the left. You can see that on the glass also. And then it's filled on the right because under the Grosch name, uh, it says since 1615, you can see that there's some you know light coming from the right. So I think they filled it with something or they used flash. But that's it. That's That's pretty much it. I think. So uh, let's get to work. Okay, the sun decided to dish out on me right now as I'm about to take the shot. So I'm gonna use this light to shoot some light from this side of the bottle and then bounce it with my reflector from this side. I flipped the reflector to the silver side because the white side didn't give me enough light when I tested it. Right now, just, you know, put it against the bottle to see how much light I can reflect on the bottle. So I turned it to the silver side because this one does give me more reflection of that light. So that's why silver. And I'm going to set up the shot, hold this and then, you know, take the shot. Of course, I have to open the bottle first and also fill the glass with beer. That's the nice thing about this bottle. <laughs> like that's what people love, like the sound of when it opens. Somehow I have to find a way to keep this like this. It's pretty difficult to do that. I'm just gonna take the shot. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just have to has to look like the one on the photo. So I'm gonna just let it, you know, sit like this and then take the shot.
Okay guys, I just finished editing the photo and there are a couple of things that I realized when I was editing the photo. One is that I forgot to get rid of the beer foam that was inside of the bottle, which doesn't make the photo look very professional. And two, I forgot to spray water on the bottle to make it look like condensation. I was too focused on getting the shot before the beer foam in the glass would disappear. So that's why I didn't pay attention to every detail. This wasn't a professional shoot for Grosch, so I can get away with it. But if this was a professional work for Grosch, I would have been fired right on the spot. However, the lighting and the composition is pretty good and the image quality is pretty nice for a camera that is 10 years old. Which leads me to the reason why I made this video. I just wanted to show you guys that you don't need the most expensive gear to, you know, get the best photos. You just need to have a camera and know the fundamentals of photography, which is composition and lighting. If you do know how to, you know, use composition, get the best composition, use lighting, you can have a 10 year old camera that costs now around $100 and achieve good quality photos. If you wanna learn more or buy the gear that I use, links are in the description. Those are affiliate links. So if you buy something, I will get a commission or may get a commission at no additional cost to you. So, you know, Go click on those links and, you know, help a brother out. If you enjoyed this video, you know, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. It will help this channel a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, with all that being said, there's only one thing left for me to do. <sighs> See you guys in the next one.